Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. I have got an update for you on the R1 CBU. I didn't expect that to rhyme. Firmware, my buddy R1 CBU has done it again. We are at 0140. Last time I looked at this on video was 090. Lots of improvements have been made since then. I will include a link in the description down below where you can go ahead and get this firmware and a link to my video where I show you how to install the firmware on your radio. It is a non-destructive install. It can cohabitate nicely with the existing Zygu firmware that is on the radio. If you remove the SD card and boot the radio back up, it will go back to perfectly normal operation. When you put this SD card in, it will boot up off of the SD card itself and bring you this new wonderful firmware. Let's get into what some of the features are right now because he is doing a very good job of keeping a running list of what's going on. We have the spectrogram, the waterfall, the RXTX modes of CWS SSB, AM, and FM, filter settings, split working on VFO A and B, mic settings, the tuner works, the attenuation, the preamp, and the automatic gain control all works. The Vox setting is planned, and he thinks that it's going to be fairly easy to do. Notch filter, noise blank or noise reducer, keyer settings for your CW key, battery and external power info, clock, your S meter power and SWR meters all work just fine. RIT and XIT works. The SWR graph, he says that it is in planning and it is easy. This is the thing that will do kind of like a mini antenna analyzer inside of the radio itself. This is one of the things that I really like about this radio is the ability to see that sweep happening over and over again in real time while I'm watching and adjusting the antenna. So I don't have to come back and hit a button and then go back and make an adjustment and come back and test it out. It saves a lot of trouble. TX on all bands is done. You can now where legal, you can now transmit uh, CB, 27 megahertz, 11 meters. Portrait view walkie-talkie is planned, so you can hold the radio upright. And since this radio has a PTT button that will fit under your finger and a microphone that is in kind of the right spot and the antenna that's in kind of the right spot, that's a pretty neat feature. So the screen will have the ability to be turned sideways. Sometime in the future, he thinks that'll be pretty easy. Cat interface already done. Message record play. These are things that are planned. Air record replay, uh, frequency memory save, restore, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth audio, all of that is in the planning stages. Sliding frequency, need research. I believe when he says sliding frequency, he means the ability for the waterfall to display the entire spectrum. And then as you move the screen around, you don't have those black spots like you have currently. And he thinks that's gonna be pretty hard. Band plan editor, planned medium. Probably the difficulty on that is the user interface primitives that you can do on the screen in the radio. CW decoder has been done. The RIDI receive decoder has been done. RIDI TX is planned medium difficulty. So we got a couple more things in planning here. BPS. SK, FT8, FT8 directly on the radio itself. We can do this now with the Lynx 2004 firmware that I demoed before. There's a link for that up above. Whisper, we can do that with Saul St. John image. I will have a link for that as well. SSTV, receive and transmit built into the radio. That would be pretty interesting. Just set the radio up and let the screen just fill with SSTV images as they come in. Oh, I can't wait for that. That's going to be fantastic. Voice assistant. So maybe some help there for some people. Logbook built in. That would be nice. External SDR. That's the I and Q port on the left hand side of the radio. USB keyboard already works. Bluetooth keyboard planned and slightly slightly more difficult than usual. So this is the website to go get it from. I hope that you guys take some time and download this SD card image and boot your radio up with it. It is completely harmless so far. Lots of people have tested this out, including myself. It's just a lot of fun. One of the things that you can do in this hobby is just explore technology. R1 CBU is giving us the ability to explore some technology. If you join us over on the Toads Discord, there is a lively discussion happening in the X61 hacking forum where we talk about this stuff all day long and we welcome your input and improvements and assistance. So there will be a link for that in the description down below as well. Thanks for being awesome, everybody. There is a video right over here I think you will enjoy next. I'll see you over there.